everyone, welcome to a brand new video. I'm Kari and well today I will show you what I do with my hamster when I go on vacation. So let's get started. Hey guys, how are you all doing? I hope you're doing amazing and before I get started, don't forget to like the video and subscribe if you haven't already and join the Koala family! So today guys, I'll show you what exactly I do about my hamsters. You guys know I have a dwarf hamster named Peepo. And you guys might wonder, what happens to him when you go on vacation? So today, I'll show it to you guys. So this is Peepo's cage. He's currently aquarium. Well, I don't think you can really call this a cage. It's like a fish tank, but then I made it into a hamster house. <laughs> So as you guys know, I have videos here on my channel where I DIY'd everything and of me building his cage and all. And I really, really like it. I like the result. And so this is how it looks like so far. I am going to be out for like an entire week and I don't really want to leave him by himself. It, if it was just like one day, I'm 100% sure he would be fine. But an entire week? Hell no, I'm not gonna leave my hamster without supervision. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave Peepo at my grandma's house. She has other pets and she had hamsters in the past, so she knows how to take care of them as well. And because this tank, it's so heavy, it was like a struggle to build it here and all. And it's just like a week. If it was months or if it was an entire month, two months, of course, I would take the tank to her house. But because it's just one week, I don't think it is very good idea to like have to take this entire thing with me because i can't really carry it by myself so what i did was i bought a smaller cage second hand and i'm gonna show it to you guys so this was the cage that i bought for people it is in second hand but it is in perfect condition it looks brand new and of course i'm gonna clean it as well and please have in mind that this cage is too small for an hamster okay this is just gonna be his house for one week and then he will go back to his normal house but this cage is definitely way easier to carry around and so today on this video i'm just pretty much gonna show it to you guys how i'm going to decorate it well it's kind of decorated already but i'm gonna prepare it and then take my hamster to my grandma house and all of that so yeah so let's go and prepare this cage i just wanted to share it with you guys and hopefully you enjoy <laughs> hi beep he's eating now what a good boy what a good boy. <laughs> He's so cute. Hi. <laughs> you are so cute. I usually use this to transport him in like a car ride to go to the vet or stuff like that. Just for a quick transportation. So let's start and add the bedding first. So let's go. I use it's this one right here it's a Katie clean and cozy and I buy it on Amazon I use 50% water 50% vinegar to clean my hamster cage you can buy actual like sprays for hamster cages and all for cleaning but I find it this way more cheap <laughs> I'm gonna put as much bedding as possible. Oops. Okay, so now let's add the top part. And now another thing that I want to do is to switch the wheel because this wheel, even though it's so cute and matches the cage perfectly, actually I think it is not very stable and good for him to run. Oh, I also want to add some roses before heading the wheel. I like to add some rose petals as well in the bedding because it makes the cage smell nicer and also he can eat them if he wants. Even though Peepa doesn't really like to eat rose petals, he still can and it smells good so... <laughs> okay. So I do have this two wheel option. I think I'm gonna add this yellow one. Let's see how it works. Yeah, that one looks nice. I also have this white one that is really really good quality and it doesn't make any noise but um it is smaller and i think the other one is a little bit better and also matches the little house because it's yellow as well all right and 
And now the food bowl. I'm gonna wash it first. Like here. I'm gonna have to remove some bedding. Also, I usually don't keep this food in um, in a plastic bag. I just had to kind of finish this, but I keep this food. I'll show it to you guys in this one, but it didn't fit more in the jar, so I had to waste the one that was still in the bag. But yeah, I keep it in the glass container. Also, once I leave people at my grandma's house, I'll also bring more food with, besides the one that I'm putting in the cage, of course. And I'm gonna also add a rose petal in his food bowl. Also, people is my first hamster, so if you guys think I'm doing something wrong, please let me know in the comments down below. Of course, I always appreciate all the type of advices and opinions. And I'm also going to spread some more food around the bedding so he can entertain himself trying to look for it. Now the water bottle came like this, but I think it would be better if it's a little bit more up. I might actually just add his current one instead of this one because this one was used by another hamster. I can kind of tell. So I'm going to just use his other one. All right, here it's a sand belt. As you guys know, this is his favorite thing in the entire world. Trust me, people love the sand bath. He has a bigger one than this little tiny bathtub, but he only likes to do it inside here. Maybe it's because he feels safer because it's like a tight place. I'm not sure, but he definitely loves this one. Wanna do it like that to just clean it. All right, so it's all clean now. And I'm gonna try and find a place for it, <laughs> but it's gonna be hard. And now I'm gonna add this toy here that he loves. And then I'm also gonna add this. And I'm gonna add it. Oh, and the last thing that I forgot was to add some hay. I always like to add like a few pieces of hay and this is the one that I use. Ta da! So this is the final result right here. I think it looks pretty cool. He has definitely a few things to explore and to play with. So here is his hideout house and I put some hay on top if you want to climb here and grab it. I put as much bedding as possible guys. This is not enough for a hamster at all. But um, this is just a few days cage for him and then he will go back to the other one. Then he has his wheel. This wheel is pretty smooth so he can run really easily. The tube. He has that little ball to play with. And then this sand bath that he loves. Alright guys, and that's pretty much it for today. Uh, in three days, I'm actually leaving Pippo at my grandma's house. So in three days, you guys will see the rest. So yeah. Hey guys, so it's another day. And now I am waiting for Pippo to wake up. And so I can put him in the other cage. Alright guys, I was able to wake Pippo up. He's here. Hi, Pippo. Are you ready? Are you ready to go to your new house, Peep? I'm sorry for waking you up. I know it's still time for you to be sleeping. He woke up because he smelled food. <laughs> Good boy, there you go. And now let's put you on your new cage. There you go. <gasps> Look at that. Do you like it? <gasps> Look at that. It's a cage just for you. He's going in. Oh, we are sand bath. Your favorite thing in the world. Here it is, the water, and look how cute it looks. Can you guys 
I see how cute he looks. No mesh. That's my grandma kid. Oh, he's pink. Boy. Pippo is gonna be in a room close so the cat can't really get to him, but at least it seems like they're getting along. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Pippo is gonna stay here in this room. Bye bye, Pip! Bye bye! He's inside the hideout. And I'll see you in the week. <laughs> Alright, guys, so that was pretty much it for today. I really hope you guys enjoyed. And what do you think about my background? <laughs> I really liked it. I put some RGB lights as you can see and it looks all blue. I love it. <laughs> Anyways guys, I really hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you all on my next video because this one is over. Bye bye! <laughs>